old English term for vagina. The old English term for vagina. That was <laughs> JJ or Fanny. <laughs> no, <laughs> Nice quiplash, Nova. That was to JJ. <laughs> A group activity at a really bad summer camp. Measuring up or hands-free macarena. <laughs> what is what? Is that like macarena? Hey, macarena. Mac. What is that? Fuck. Hey, macarena. Macarena. macarena? Hands-free macarena. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> Let's just say macarena one more time. Macarena <laughs> is a nodding, weaving form of textile making. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, right. Hello. Silly me. That actually makes sense. <laughs> nodding. <laughs> Sam! <laughs> Sorry, I'm God damn it, Sam. <laughs> Sorry, I'm pink shame. Another, uh, another name for a rectal thermometer. Brown hole temp checker or the knot? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you here. I wish I could vote. Lee. Oh my god, it was... <laughs> Sam. I wish I could vote for that. I wish I could vote for that. That was so perfect. The worst name for a summer camp. The worst name for summer camp. Camp camp. It's a good little Catholic <laughs> summer camp for boys or winter camp. This is just no contest. <laughs> what one were you going for? I wanted to pick one. Jewels. Jewels. <laughs> Why would you pick that? I come from Sam. Family, okay? <laughs> I know the history of the RCC. God damn it. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna kick your ass. There's eight of us now. Our prompt is... The second thing you said on the moon. You know it's me if there's Catholic and boys involved. Someone didn't answer. I answered. Didn't I? Shit, did it not go in? <laughs> no. The second oh, thing said on the moon. No, I think yours did. Okay. Hang on. God, I'm gay. Shut the fuck up, Neil. If there were two guys on the moon and one... First, I can see my Athenian boy slave from here. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Did I remember to turn off the stove? <laughs> I can see my Athenian boy slave from here. That's mine. Got three points. Nice. <laughs> Tasteful. I got 420 from that. Okay, now we're just waiting on you. Oh, ah. Uh. Huck's daddy. That's not my name. Might as well be. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. A good name for a pet cemetery. Free food, shovel required. Oh. <laughs> Runaway acres. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. This is so bad. Zed is against pineapple. Lee is pro pineapple. <gasps> I see. The grossest, <laughs> the grossest thing you'd put in your mouth for $18. $18 or air or more money required. <laughs> Everything tastes better with blank. Eighteen dollars or bees. <laughs> <laughs> that was well played, Nova. That was well played, Nova. He did say his second answer references his first answer. Oh, that's so good. Well played, Nova. Well Bring played. It back. Yeah. Call back. That's how. That's how you do a callback. <laughs> An inappropriate thing to do in a cemetery: potty break or eat the pets. <laughs> Oh, gosh. <laughs> that's a throwback. That's a meme now. Oh, no. That's a meme. Uh, <laughs> eating that's pets a at a pet meme. cemetery. <laughs> yes. I feel bad. What would you expect Justin Bieber's line of fragrances to smell like? A unicorn's taint or prepubescent angst? <laughs> okay, to be fair, he has done a lot of growing up recently. <laughs> No, but like I was saying, Robbie, like, okay to be fair, he has done a lot of growing up recently, but I don't think he'll ever be able to shake oh, off the reputation here and for himself. Wow, two and two. Yeah, I agree. Nathan, I mean, prepubescent angst. <clears throat> Something you should not whisper to your grandmother. <laughs> Do unicorns have a taint? <laughs> and, hey, how you doing, little mama? <laughs> hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear. Oh, uh, hi, new I was, Hello. I was, do unicorns have a taint? And Rebel Scum was, hey, how you doing, little mama? And I won that one. <laughs> a surprising purchase. A surprising purchase on Willy Wonka's credit card statement. A big dildo, the wonking Willy, or, or anti-venom. <laughs> or anti-venom. <laughs> the wonking Willy. 
fucking Willy. <laughs> oh my god. Whoever wrote that is a genius. Perfect time. Oh, right? Wait, is, I wonder if that's like an actual thing, though. It, it could be. be. It probably is. I'm gonna make one. You think, you think that Rule 34, if it exists, there's porn of it. There's I'm porn. sure there's a wonking willy somewhere. <laughs> If a winning coach gets Gatorade dumped on his head, what should get dumped on the losing coach? Bees. Literal bees. <laughs> yes. Or elephant semen. Oh no, not the elephant semen. Please don't bring this back. Is elephant semen a negative thing to get poured on you? I mean, I think it'd be great for your skin. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind, Nathan. You know what, Nathan? Nathan has a lot of experience with elephant semen. Nathan, how about you test that out and then you come back and you tell us later? I have. It. <laughs> it was great. Bitch, picks or it didn't happen. I was elephant oh. semen. Who won? And I did not win. Lena won with bees, literally. I didn't think of taking a picture of myself with an elephant boot cocky. <laughs> Nathan. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> that was you. That was totally no. on you. No! It was the green no. Lord. Yes. No! Yes! They spawn manure, which means we can have farms and an endless supply of food. Poopy! There we go.